All right, to our audience now, uh, Suzanne has a question. This one is for Brian. Hi, Suzanne. What would you like to ask him? Hi, thanks for taking my question. Um, my husband and I just decided to refresh our living room, family room area, and I just uh, wanted some advice on what to put on the walls and to make the flow a little better. Yes. Nice. Well, she has, as you know, the dreaded corner fireplace, mm -hmm. which is over here. But her husband did a great job, got rid of all the brick or stone drywall to build the mantle, which I quite Good. like. And they're, what, what's a great idea is they're changing the sofa to a sectional, so they're going to go around the corner, but you've got these big blank walls and you've got the television there. One of the things I would also do is you've got these two big chairs here, and I know the sectional is going to be leather. It's too much leather. Okay. Keep leather on the sectional. Do one chair over here on a swivel, maybe with an ottoman, but I would probably just do the one chair. And then for the walls, because you've got the TV here, the fireplaces are not a lot happening, I would do one large painting here, similar to what we saw, one mm -hmm. big painting there, and then I would do the same scale on this wall, four smaller ones, but that may up almost the same scale and these can be black and white photography or small paintings but similar coloring so you don't have two big elements but you're not competing with a little piece and a big piece mm -hmm. this is too small <clears throat> way right. too small that is my little pet peeve yeah, that has go as go. oversized as you possibly Big. can. Whatever can fit on that wall, go for it exactly. because it's going to look right to exactly. the eye. Never do a little painting on a wall. Do big and then cluster them. Right. And then I would do uh, an upholstered ottoman, maybe on wheels instead of a coffee table. You can always put a tray on and I would put an area rug. Now, because of the corner fireplace, you could do a square rug. It's going to be a little tricky. It's probably going to come out to here like a point or you can have broadlum mm -hmm. made into an area rug and they can template it and follow the angle of the corner so all the furniture is sitting on a carpet that's going to really cozy up the space that's smart the carpets we saw earlier they come in bigger sizes than what we big saw big sizes because get the biggest size right get the biggest size you so want most fits. of the furniture sitting on it especially yeah. in dining rooms you don't want a chair coming off and then you're pulling it back and taking half the carpet with you and right. you fall over yes and so you, you fall over you fall, yeah you want the you want the furniture on the carpet. On the carpet. Okay, good stuff. Kylie has a question. Hi, Kylie. What would you like to ask Shy? Hi, thanks for taking my question. Um, my townhouse is dated and boring, so I'm trying to look at how to <laughs> update it, make it the furniture look better, placement and colors. Thanks. Mm -hmm. That's sad. What? That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Not your space. Not your space. She's <laughs> no. like, it's all approach to it. My townhouse is boring. We're going to fix it, Kylie. <laughs> Don't worry. We Don't got worry, your we're back, We're going to fix girl. it for you. It's going to be an easy fix. Not, well, well, won't be so easy, but it'll be an easy fix. Not that bad. Uh, no. So the first thing that I noticed was this really oversized piece of uh, upholstery here. She has a sofa here. And actually, cool. the funny thing was, is I saw this and I said, I'd like to scale it down. Kylie's first thing was like, this is actually smaller than what we used to have. So kind of likes oh, big wow. furniture, but it's all about the scale and proportion and, and size, obviously, and not dissimilar from what you were just talking about in terms of artwork. So what I've done is I've done actually two floor plans. So the easier floor plan, then we'll get to the little bit more complicated one. What I'd like to do is rather than have your sofa back here looking into the kitchen, I think what we can do is create more of a television watching area over here. So I've introduced a sectional with an open-ended chaise uh, over here looking at what will now be your TV wall with some great built-ins perhaps uh, if budget permits uh, and then your dining area is going to be over here so this is now having the back to the dining area has really kind of created and defined the area for you without using a wall uh, that you don't have your kitchen right now has kind of this and I'm assuming there's some structure in here if we look back at the picture over here you have a column that's holding up the yeah, house that's holding up something <laughs> that's holding so, up something. don't take that down yeah, don't, well, don't take it down don't take it down and just not do anything instead of, but you can absolutely, again, if budget permits, um, invest in perhaps looking at, have an engineer look at that column, taking it down, rebracing in the ceiling, and then it would be great to have kind of an Eden Island rather than have kind of that corner piece that you had yeah. there instead. And I think that that's really going to open it up. In terms of styles, uh, your kitchen, uh, Kylie was saying, my kitchen cabinets are peeling because mm -hmm. I've been in the, in, in the kitchen for 12, or in the house for 12 years, excuse me. So what a lot of builders will do is use what's called thermofoil and thermofoil is almost like a sticker on your cabinet mm. and over time it starts to peel from heat and, and you know from whatever so you can absolutely reface the kitchen rather than redo the entire kitchen and that'll save you a little bit of money mm -hmm. it'll carry over for the next couple years until you know you've saved up to do it properly and I think that that could be a really 
you know, stunning different uh, difference that you can do. And I would update the backsplash as well. So maybe some stone and yeah. The nice. poor woman wanted a paint color. He's demolishing the house. I know. Always the way with me. Don't ever ask me a paint question because you're going to get a whole demolition. <laughs> I, I would do mirror in here too. You could mirror That's the backsplash. Oh, yeah. That's actually and a good idea. Will, because the kitchen's so far from yeah. the window. Right. If you mirror the backsplash, yeah. you're really going to reflect That's a lot a of light. That's a great idea. Also. I like that.